With all the noise that Donald Trump and his far-right media machine makes, it's easy to forget that since 2021, things really did get better. If you find yourself distracted by a dictator, spare a thought for the delegator-in-chief, Joe Biden, who not only legitimately won the presidential election in 2020, but wasted no time successfully rolling out and fully vaccinating 79% of American adults against COVID-19, despite conspiracy theories about the shot that turned out to be a big bunch of baloney. He also mailed over 740 million free COVID-19 tests directly to tens of millions of Americans. During Trump's presidency, the economy lost 2.6 million jobs. The unemployment rate increased by 1.6 percentage points to 6.3%. Under President Joe Biden, over 15 million jobs have been created since 2021, with unemployment going down to 3.5%, giving us the two strongest years of job growth in history, a near-record low unemployment rate for black Americans and Hispanics too. So if you hear people ask, what did Joe Biden ever do for us? Remind them that millions of Americans are saving $800 a year on health insurance coverage. More than 40 million borrowers stand to benefit from student debt relief. Infrastructure investments in all 50 states, D.C., territories and throughout tribal nations. The CHIPS Act, a major bill to protect and improve American electronic chip manufacturing. And of course, the Inflation Reduction Act, lowering drug prices, clean energy investments, reducing the deficit by $300 billion. Don't forget it was Donald Trump that sent it skyrocketing during his presidency. And so a steady reduction of Trump-era deficits projected to drop by more than $1.8 trillion. Despite Donald Trump's claims of energy independence, the US has actually produced a record amount of oil in 2023. It increased the maximum value of Pell Grants by $900, pardoned and released from jail those convicted of minor marijuana use and took marijuana off federal Schedule 1 status. Biden has brought gas prices down by more than $1.60 from the peak of the 2023 summer signed a gun safety bill, which most people thought was impossible, and ended the war in Afghanistan. Crime and homicides are down from Donald Trump's levels. In fact, crime across the board is down, despite what Donald Trump tells you. Biden also rallied NATO to support Ukraine against Russian aggression and helped Sweden and Finland join NATO. Under Biden's first three years, net farm income has increased to $165 billion compared to Donald Trump. And let's not forget the $35 cap on insulin. That's an easy one to remember. The veteran health burn pit legislation that the GOP didn't want, signed by President Joe Biden, signed a major rural broadband expansion so people have high-speed internet at home and can work from home, new rules for airlines prohibiting surprise fees and requiring automatic cash refunds. He saved union and non-union pensions, over 31 million beneficiaries of the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corps were in danger of losing their benefits or having them cut, both union and non-union. Biden signed a bill to stop bank nuisance fees and nominated and successfully had confirmed in the Senate Justice Katanji Brown-Jackson, the first black woman to serve on the Supreme Court. Biden's economy extends Social Security and Medicaid solvency by years. The GOP wants to cut it. There's been a manufacturing boom taking hold across America. In two years, companies have announced nearly $300 billion in manufacturing investments in the United States. The lowest inflation rate among all G7 countries, which went down as low as 2.3%. Biden's FCC has stopped cable TV junk fees and signed historic bipartisan legislation protecting marriage for same-sex and interracial couples. And the president took historic steps to advance full equality for LGBTQ plus Americans, including reversing the discriminatory ban on transgender service members in the military something that Donald Trump is keen to reverse. Since the Supreme Court took away the constitutional right from the American people, Biden and Vice President Harris 
have taken action to defend reproductive rights. The President has signed executive orders to protect access to reproductive health care, including abortion and contraception and safeguard patient privacy and sensitive health information, and has made clear his commitment to fighting any attack by a state or local official who attempts to intervene with women exercising their constitutional right to travel out of state for medical care. The Biden administration announced debt relief for up to 20,000 Americans earning less than $125,000 a year, who all had Pell Grants in college, and up to $10,000 for all other borrowers below that income threshold. More than 40 million borrowers stand to benefit from all of this action, and about 20 million would see their debt entirely wiped out. He signed an historic executive order directing the federal government to use every tool available to advance equity and racial justice. As a result, the administration has taken bold action to narrow the racial wealth gap, invest in communities facing persistent poverty, and advance programs and policies to deliver racial justice. Biden signed legislation to put more cops on the beat and invest in community policing. He signed the Electoral Count Act, which takes long overdue steps to protect the integrity of our elections. He lowered the cost of hearing aids by making them available over the counter, secured commitments from 20 leading internet providers to increase speeds and cut prices awarded the most ever federal contracting dollars to small businesses and disadvantaged small businesses. Biden rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement on day one to reassert the United States' global leadership to combat the climate crisis. The president has also taken executive action and signed legislation to develop clean energy at home, accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles, and reduce pollution that endangers overburdened communities. And the president is lowering energy costs for families, creating good-paying jobs, and ensuring America leads the global clean energy economy in an attempt to reverse the climate crisis. So next time someone says, what has Biden ever done for us? Remind them of this list all of which is already a reality happening across America right now, much of which was not supported by Republicans. In fact, they refused to sign off on much of these bills, but were very happy to take the credit for them when they became a reality. I'm Anthony Davis. You can catch me on the 5 Minute News YouTube channel, also on Wednesdays co-hosting Uncovered, and on Sunday on The Weekend Show with Midas Touch. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.